Do you have to get a pelvic exam during your annual wellness visit? If you hate getting pelvic exams, it makes sense that you'd be nervous about a well person visit. But if you're not due for a pap smear, you may not need a pelvic exam at all. In fact, the entire well visit could be a fully clothed conversation with your provider. If your provider does recommend a pelvic exam, it's still your choice whether you get one. Know that you can ask to discuss the exam with them beforehand so that you know exactly what's gonna happen. Let your provider know if you have a history of sexual assault or specific concerns about the exam. You can ask to bring a friend, play music during the exam, and have each step of the exam explained to you before it happens. You can also ask to stop a pelvic exam or any exam at any time. You should feel comfortable and in control of your healthcare experience. Do you still need an annual wellness visit if you're not at risk for pregnancy right now? Even if you're not at risk for pregnancy because you aren't having sex right now or don't have penis and vagina sex, an annual visit is a good time to check in with your provider about your sexual and reproductive health, like talking about your chances of getting pregnant in the future and how to prevent sexually transmitted infections. You can also talk about any problems you're having with your period and discuss if birth control might help with any of them. Many people use birth control for reasons other than pregnancy prevention, like managing heavy periods and improving acne. And anyone who has a cervix should keep up with pap smears, regardless of whether you could get pregnant. If you're not having sex right now, but you're considering having sex in the future, think about if you'll be at risk for pregnancy or STIs. You can then discuss your future birth control and STI prevention needs with your provider during your well-person visit. That way, you can be prepared if you do start to have sex.